You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's dark. You're sitting in front of the mirror getting ready for bed. There's nobody else in the house. You see something move in the corner of your eye. You glance to your right, but you don't see anything. Another minute goes by, and you think you see movement again. So you slowly turn to your left, but again, the room is empty. You turn back around, and staring you face to face in the mirror is a cat. You jump back, because you don't have a cat, and there's no cat in the room. But there he is, staring at you in the mirror. Welcome to Paranormal Pets, where you can always expect the unexpected. Each week, we'll discuss all aspects of weird or spiritual animal encounters, ghosts, totems, psychic animals, animal souls, animal angels, and animals in religion, with a little cryptozoology thrown in. Now, step into the supernatural world of pets with your Paranormal Pets ghostly host, Brandy Stark. Hello and welcome to Paranormal Pets. I'm your host, Brandy Stark, and for this episode, we are at the Suntan Arts Center. We are doing uh, preparation for a tour that we're hosting called Spectral Musing. And today, we've actually got a couple of guest investigators, Odysseus and Achilles. My paranormal pugs are here to see what they can find. So you'll get to come along with us and at least hear the audio version of this uh, right after these messages. Time for something really scary. A word from our sponsors. Paranormal pets will reappear before you can say Bigfoot. Don't run away. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Did you hear that? Our commercials have mysteriously disappeared. Paranormal Pets is back with our haunted host, our ghost host, Brandy Stark. And welcome back. We are here at the Suntan Art Center, and we means me and my St. Petersburg Paranormal Investigations cohort, Lisa. Would you like to say hello? Yes. Hi. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming out here. She has a, uh, what kind of pug mix? A half pug, half Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> so she understands pugs. And apparently it's a, it's a crazy guy, right? Yes. He is very crazy and a little ditzy. And he likes to run into walls quite often. <laughs> that's got to be the Jack Russell. Oh, yes. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. So uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk through the art center. And we're going to follow Achilles and Odysseus. And again, uh, the parameters for the investigation, I have had to have been here before. I have to know that it does not have hostile entities. They have to be allowed to be here. They have been removed from their leashes, so they are free to walk around. And if there is an area that they don't want to go into, we will not force them to go. So this will be kind of an interesting mixture of pugs and people. And hopefully some equipment. I have recently gotten my paranormal puck up and running again. So you'll have the immense joy of working with us as we (laughs) walk with our computer and our equipment today. So we are currently in the Parkside Gallery, meeting room A. The pugs have been running around and apparently have had absolutely no issues with anything. They are also going into the administrative offices and looking around. And they seem quite comfortable. So let me ask you, as a, as a sensitive, are you picking anybody up yet? Not yet. Um, I feel energy moving from the same area that we were at last time we did an investigation here. It feels almost like busy rushing energy in the hallway area. 
um, where I know we've picked up an entity before, mm -hmm. but they never really want to talk to us. Yeah, this is going to be fun. The guy that we think it's a male that is out here, we normally call him the running man because we don't know who he is, but that he likes to move around. Now, the pugs apparently have made themselves comfortable in the administrative office. Come on, guys. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Okay. Now they're following. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, that'll work perfectly. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if the running man is around. We're going to walk down his hallway. And as you can hear, the pugs are doing quite well, being friendly and cute. So far, nothing. Uh, these pugs, I've taken on a couple of investigations in the past. Oh, look at that. Look at those good boys. They haven't been tremendously useful, I'm sorry to say, but there was one time in which we were in a uh, veterinarian's office, allegedly haunted, and they were goofing around and being very silly, and all of a sudden they both stopped, and in unison they growled and turned around mm. and stared at one spot on the wall, which it turned out used to be where there was a window to the office of the veterinarian who originally founded the business, oh, wow. and he had passed away some years ago. And it was he who was still moving around through the building every now and again. And in fact, that night, Odysseus, this is the fun part of paranormal investigation, if you're not familiar with it, now that you have the video camera, yeah. sometimes you have to leave it behind and you leave it in a room and you record something. So we had a report that one aspect of phenomena was that uh, the doors would open by themselves. So we had the camera set out recording and Odysseus was running laps. He was having a great time being a pug, running around. And this was some time ago, so they were a little younger. And uh, all of a sudden he stopped, and it's recorded on the camera. He turned around and he looked at the door. He looked at the camera, because pugs, they always know. They know there's a camera. Oh yeah. And he looked back at the door again. He stared at it for a few seconds, and then he turned around and walked away. And right after he walked away, the door opened. Oh, that's... It was really, really, really cool. Really cool. <laughs> the problem is that because of the nature of the business, while we were allowed to investigate, we couldn't release mm -hmm. any of the images. And it was, it was terrible because I was so excited. So that's my validation for bringing these guys here. So far, we are in the glass studio where we have encountered some things before. And the pugs are being pretty good. They're looking around. Are you picking up anything? Just a lot of energy and I feel almost awkward. Like I'm, I'm going into someone's house and I wasn't invited in. Okay. It kind of feels almost like I shouldn't be here. It's almost like an energy feeling. And I think that he might even be like giving it off to try and get me to move because I was blocking. If you saw me, I was like in the doorway. Okay. So I feel like maybe he's just like, gosh, you're in my way. You're in my way. It's actually interesting that you describe that because in the past... We speculate that this might have been at one point a bank or an mm -hmm. office. And I've had folks come in here and say that there's somebody who is still pacing around here like he's still working. And he's very irritated when people come in because they interrupt his work. So we don't know if that's the same as the running man, if they're the same individual. But very cool. So yeah. you get a cookie. <laughs> and the pugs apparently don't. They're gone. <laughs> but so far, they're not seeming to, to have any hostilities, which is great. Yeah. You guys ready? Are you ready? Okay. It's so funny that they're so well behaved. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is actually quite funny. <laughs> but the nice thing is that at this point, because they will actually be 11 wow. in November, my babies, they have settled down considerably. And oh, here comes Odysseus. You can hear him coming down the hall. Yeah, this is going to make some fun EVP sessions. <laughs> so, all right. You, are you the running man today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go upstairs? Okay. I'll leave the paranormal puck. We'll come back for it. I'm just going to let it run and see if anybody says anything. If there is anybody present, just remember that we are not here to harm you or to chase you or to really annoy you. We want to know who you are, but feel free if you can utilize the paranormal puck in that word bank. Let's see what you can come up with. And if you want to give us a message, please do. All right. Yeah. Y'all keep moving now. Now the next trick is to see if they can do stairs. <laughs> they don't have stairs at home. We might have some gentle encouragement. They're actually, they're doing pretty well. Odysseus. Achilles, you want to go upstairs? You ready? Odysseus. Come on, Achilles. Come on. Do we not like stairs? <laughs> they don't <laughs> like stairs. <laughs> they are pugs. You guys ready? You want to go upstairs? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yep. All the actions up here, guys. There you go. Two steps. Oh, Achilles is out. <laughs> Both of them are out. 
All right, boys. Well, we did say if they didn't want to come up, they didn't have to. We'll give them a couple minutes. They might come up after us. This is the second floor of the art uh, center. Whoa, the camera just flaked oh my. out. It was working perfectly fine going up all the stairs. I wonder if it's an EMF thing. Let me go back down. Okay. And see if I can get it to go back. That's strange. Does it work? That's really strange. My battery just went down too. Well, it would make some sense. This is an area of high activity. Uh, and in fact, oddly enough, while I have dreamed of paranormal investigations, I'm normally not so site specific. But about two nights ago, I did dream of doing the ghost hunt here with the pugs and that down the hall was a glowing blue orb. So uh, it's almost like a black and white image, like a photograph of the pugs looking at this orb and, and me following them. The upstairs area actually has the energy of, we think, a former philanthropist by the name of Mary. We call her the hostess because time and time again we've come here and she's always been very welcoming and very inviting, but almost like she wants to do something, host a party or host an event. Did the reset work? Yeah, I turned it off and turned it back on, so okay. let's see. You guys want to come up here? You look so sad down there, Achilles. We'll get a picture. Oh, and there they go. What the heck? They're not cooperating at all today. <laughs> but this is, this is actually the area. And I actually want to say what I was doing was facing this direction. And they were on their leashes. And there was like this blue orb. Hmm. So if there's anybody present, feel free to let us know. Again, we're not here to harm you or upset you. We just would like to get some communication with you. If you're here, you might be the one interacting with our equipment. Hopefully you don't mind the pugs. They're good boys. They're having fun downstairs now. Gentlemen, you want to come up? <laughs> they are very funny. Would you like to come up here? Nope. <laughs> they look right at me and looked away. I think they'll follow me up. We can try. Well, I think there's a fan in your office, and I think they're just enjoying that. The cool. All the way back over there. They were. Boys, you want to come up here? Nope. I don't think they've ever been in an elevator, but... Well, we can try going into the merry neighbor's room. Let's see if, if you sense anything when we go in. I don't know if that's what's going on with them. They have climbed stairs before. They've done it. Hmm. So. And the camera is still acting a little weird. It's not as crazy looking, but it's almost like it's lagging. Come on. Come on. No. You don't want to come up. Only one step. That's really odd. I have had them go up and down. They've climbed steps. They tried to go in the elevator with me. Do you want me to bring them up in the elevator? Uh, we can try. I don't think they've ever done that. The black one trying to get in there with me. <laughs> so look, when I walk around, like, see how it's like, I wasn't doing that at all downstairs. Oh, it's only when I hit it. this part of the window. So you can like right here. Right. When I hit you, it's fine. The okay. moment I hit this wall. That's the, uh, the area where she would be. No luck. Are they still being, being odd little guys. <laughs> well, I can try and go in with them. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, boys. One of them was in, and then when it dinged, he went back. <laughs> they cooperate they like pugs. Oh, strange noises. You guys want to go try the elevator? Yeah, go Come on, boys. Come on. Okay. You ready? Go up. Come come in. Come on, boys. Come come in. Come on. Okay. Come on, Achilles. Achilles, come here. Come on, it's okay. Come on in. There we go. You ready? Go. Okay, come on. There we go. Come on. All right. Elevator ride. I think this really is a first for the pugs. So. And actually, while we're at this point and with this excitement, we're going to pause. We'll let you know what happens on the second floor right after these messages. Time for something really scary. A word from our sponsors. Paranormal pets will reappear before you can say Bigfoot. Don't run away. So when we brought him home, we didn't realize that Bear the Rescue Dog was actually sick. 
He had very flaky skin. He was dropping a lot of fur. And Levette wanted to do steroid injections, special dog food. Nothing seemed to work. So I've been hearing Dinovite on the radio for years. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. It never actually crossed my mind to try it until I was just at a dead end. And then it finally sunk in. Oh, you're talking about hair and skin. And all right, (laughs) I'll try it. Well, it took probably six weeks, but after we started using Dinovite, no more flaky skin. He doesn't scratch and itch, and he started to put weight on. It was was awesome. He makes us feel like we saved him. Every rescue dog in America deserves Dinovite for 90 days. I wish that we would have started the Dinovite right away. It would have been so much easier. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Did you hear that? Our commercials have mysteriously disappeared. Paranormal Pets is back with our haunted host, our ghost host, Brandy Stark. And welcome back to Paranormal Pets. We are up here on the second floor. The pugs have come up in the elevator, <laughs> not willing to do stairs anymore. They seem okay up here. Checking out the hallway. And this is actually a room in the back where they do painting. It's got this great light. But it's one of the rooms where, we, oh, it's nice. And oh, yes. <laughs> this is where the AC works the best. Yes, this is awesome. But interestingly enough, I don't think a lot of activity up here. Are you picking anything up? No, not at all. Okay. It's very, it's a totally different feel. I almost wonder if this was a new addition or... Um, I think they did renovations to it because mm. of this part here. When we first came in, and even now, because of the height difference, it's kind of disorienting. We're like, when you look up and then look down, but maybe it's yeah, just... maybe. Because of like the way the coloring is, how it's uh, darker near the top of the windowsills. It would be interesting. It's a neat room. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're doing fine. Y'all going to take a nap? You going to come with me? So far, so good. Oh, here comes the brother. Okay. It's weird because I walked up to see both doors to the Mary Neighbor's room, and the camera still only acts funny to this door. Hmm. Well, we go back downstairs. We'll get the paranormal puck, and we'll see if maybe there's an EM issue up here. Oh, nice art show. All right, the pugs have entered the room. This is kind of an area where the woman is usually sensed. People have thought it was a dancing room, musical, music blaring or dances occurring up here. Is she with us, do you think? I feel definitely a presence in that back corner. Okay. She kind of does not like to be out in the open. And it's funny because both the dogs walked up near and then instantly turned the other way. Do you get a sense of how she feels with the pugs? I think she's just really uneasy. I don't think she likes people in her space necessarily. Okay. Like she wants you to enjoy it and not come talk to her. Okay. She thinks that there should be a separate, separate view of everything. Not necessarily. She doesn't want to be the center of attention. She wants to show off the center the itself. Center itself. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Here he goes. We got one pug that's gone back there. This is the back corner. Here goes the other one. Hmm. They're not going to that far door though, mm-hmm. are they? I feel they're kind of like, almost like she's a little pushed up against the edge, going, "Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's a fear of dogs or just the presence itself of people. It's interesting. What does she uh, look like today? Um, I see a blue and white dress. Okay. Are you Um, picking up a style or a time period? I see it's kind of, it's got sleeves, kind of like puffy. I don't know how to describe that, like almost like 80s little bit of puffiness okay but the actual skirt itself is very old-fashioned it's got like a white trim around it and she has a big blue skirt so 50s yes 
okay. a 50 style skirt. What about her hair? Anything else? It's with her? down and it looks, she has like a white headband. Okay. And she's actually almost consistently described as having a headband. Would she be willing to give you a name? Is this Mary? She's nodding. Okay. I'm getting chills now, <laughs> which is interesting. <laughs> Were you associated with the art center? Oh, that was strange. They both went right to that corner, too. Did she move? Does your last name start with N? I almost see her kind of like shooing us along. Like, keep moving? Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. Do you get an impression, uh, how old is she, do you think? I see her as late 20s, early 30s. Okay. But also, I know that with spirits passing on, they don't always take their age. They, like, when people go to pass, they always see, they want you to see them how they want to be seen. And I think that oh. might have been, like, a really good positive time in her life. So maybe now she sees herself as that. I have to say, well, I think we do that, right? Yeah. Well, you're young, you're still young, but I know when I look in the mirror, I'm like, how old am I again? <laughs> Why does that reflection not look familiar? You know, so I, I think back too to younger days. Was she associated with Thomas Rowe? And I can say that name because Thomas Rowe is alleged to haunt the building next door, which is a huge hotel called the Don Cesar. I just saw her kind of like giggle. So I don't okay. know if maybe they've done parties together. She just kind of, almost like she's like brushing off the question. Okay. I just see her kind of like giggle and just like shake her head and like look away. So it's Thomas very strange because the last time we were here, we asked questions and I didn't get anything from her. Yeah. Normally she's been pretty friendly to us. Does she move to the center? Yes. Okay. Does she have an opinion of the pugs? She looks like she's going like, eh. Oh. Like she doesn't really... <laughs> not, not sure what to make of them. Yeah. You don't think they're the most adorable things ever? <laughs> Well, they're going right back to that corner. So that was that was interesting. They did, uh, they rebuffed it once. Then the second time, uh, they did stop. They wouldn't go all the way to the back. Now they're all over the place. They're going to be tired tonight, too. So she's not willing to answer on Thomas Rowe. So I take it this is not Mary Rowe. No. Okay. Is it who the, is she, is the room named for her? She goes, yes. They did that because they were sweet. That's okay. what I got. They're so just really sweet. We have been correct on that then. And is there a reason why she's here? Just really likes the place? She said to help. Okay. And she's a very helpful person. She said that she was born and she wants to help. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm just going to let you know, uh, Mary, that last year we did an event up here uh, with the ghost tour and we're going to do it again. So it's ghosts and art. Uh, and this is actually preliminary, even including the pug, so we can get a little more publicity. So feel free to help us. It'd be awesome. She goes, ooh, I'll help. That's perfect. She has this energy that she's very welcoming and like wants to be helpful and likes people. She likes when this place is full of people. We're going to try for that. That's our goal. Okay. Now, do we want to try? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to get them to the other building next door. Is there anything else that she wants to tell us while we're here? No, she says no go. Okay. No go. Just let her know or uh, Mary will probably be back. We're gonna circle back one more time. Uh, we'd like to bring more equipment with us just to see what we can find. The pugs are kind of the equipment right now, as odd as that may sound. And the other weird thing was that a little while ago, I swear I heard a whisper in that corner, which is kind of strange. Yeah, let's hope something got it. So those of you listening to this episode, if you hear any EVPs in the background, let us know. Oh, it's not nap time. <laughs> They're tired now. I know. We only went to one, two rooms. We just have a couple, just two more to go, guys. Can you do it? They are 11, I guess. It's, it's getting up there. It's upper middle age for these boys. Well, we have half the brothers. The brothers normally are pretty good about staying together. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> All right, no, 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 boys. Come here. Come, 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 come. There we go. So this is locked. They're like, yep, we're going back to the AC. <laughs> <laughs> they are not stupid bugs, no. Odysseus, come on. All right, I got the key to move. Come on. But can I get the... Aha, come on. There we go. There's AC. Nice AC over here. Okay. And you'll have to pardon me because I have the keys and... Ha-ha, got them out. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. 
So this is uh, actually the upstairs loft area. It tends to be a little bit louder, as you can hear. Any energy? I definitely feel an older male. Okay. And he's kind of staying near the fireplace. Every time I've been in this room, I feel almost like the air is thick. And it's not the paint smell because this is used as a studio. It's almost like a pressure. I always feel a pressure on my chest. Okay. With my lungs and my chest. Can you describe the older gentleman just a little bit more? Uh, looks like he has overalls, a whitish tan shirt, and blue or black dark pants. Okay. So he has really nice, like, shined shoes. And that's, like, weird. It, like, stands out for me because he looks like he's been, he's, like, sweaty a little bit and he's been, like, working or walking in the heat. Okay. But his shoes are, like, perfect. Does I just... It's like something really distinct about him. Can you get a name? I don't know if he is an active or residual. Okay. Because I'm trying... He doesn't even notice us in okay. this room. He doesn't even notice the pubs in this room. It's like he doesn't see it how it is right now. He sees okay. it as when he was here. That's interesting. Okay. And the pubs have made the full circle. So no name. I have to think about who that could be. Okay. Are you ready for your last room, boys? <laughs> they look thrilled. All right, can we go down the stairs together? <laughs> that scared me after that. That would be the air conditioning. Can we go downstairs, boys? Can we go downstairs? Or am I going to have to carry you because you're babies? Come on. Come on. You guys have done stairs before. Okay, I guess they're nervous. Let me see if I can scoop one of you guys, one of you up. I guess I'll get my exercise. Okay, I'm picking up Odysseus. Come down. Come on, Achilles. I'm probably gonna have to come back up and carry him down because you don't carry one without carrying the brother. Nothing like siblings. Okay. All right. Oh, that's outside. This would be the gallery. Come on. I gotta go back up and get your brother. Walked all the way to the other edge. Like, ah. <laughs> I'll go get him. Oh, there he is. Come on, Achilles. Okay. Well, then maybe there's not really a, a fear of the other stairwell. They just don't want to come downstairs. And in case you don't know, stairs are considered liminal states because they're actually in between floors. So that's why ghosts oftentimes show up on stairs. I am here to pick up Achilles. Come on. You ready? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think you put on some weight, buddy. Okay, now we're going downstairs. You know what? If I ever, ever have to go up and downstairs, I want somebody to carry me too. All right. There we go. And this is our last area. Ooh, and it's warm in here. Let's, uh... I think the gallery likes staying on, but I think it's... A little warmer. I wonder if the AC is out down here. Okay. We won't hang out too long, but are you picking anybody up? Just a lot of movement and energy, but that makes sense because there's always a lot of high traffic. Okay, so you think it's the living? Yeah. Did the lady from upstairs follow us? And you said she does or doesn't move around? She does move around, but I don't think, I don't think she goes to every part of okay. here. I don't see her greeting people here. In the gallery? In the gallery. Okay. And the pugs seem to be... Owning the place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're having fun. And actually, if I can find some postcards, <laughs> I gotta, I, I have to send postcards to William Shatner, <laughs> believe it or not, as part of this international scavenger hunt thing that I'm doing. So I will be checking this out too. <laughs> I just got chills again. I don't know why. It's really hot in here too. I know. <laughs> it's very warm. That's, that's a little interesting. All right, I'm not going to keep them in here too long, but since we're getting towards the conclusion of our excursion, do you have any, any thoughts as we start wrapping up at least our first round? Um, I definitely feel like the pugs are picking, they picked up on Mary being in that corner hiding. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was very interesting. And as she kind of opened up and I think she realized that we're back again and that we weren't new, that maybe she could let them close to her. I think that might be why they went over. And they both sniffed the same 
spot, which is very interesting. And they did not potty. They did not <laughs> just, potty. Just adding that no, in No, they sniffed pretty well. Boys, you better not be doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a camera, kids. Just a day in the life. <laughs> That's right. Okay, well, it is cooler here. See if you feel it. Well, you know what's right there, too. Oh, I there it see. is. Oh, I wonder if that's coming down from upstairs, maybe, even though the air's not on. You can definitely feel it down here. Okay, well, then that explains the tug on it. <laughs> Dang. Natural explanation. All right, so before we head back over, and so I can keep control of the pugs, because I'm probably going to have to carry them, as we conclude this episode of Paranormal Pets, we've got the Suntan Art Center. Uh, if you are in St. Petersburg, Florida, it is right next to the Don Cesar, but it is a historic building, and it was actually built as a holding place, an administrative office, for when the Don Cesar was being built. So it actually is a building from uh, the 1920s with a really eclectic and unique history. As an aside for a fundraiser for the Suntan Art Center, which is a 501c3, I am working on a booklet of the hauntings, which hopefully will be done and donated. Uh, we're working with a printer on that. So if you are curious or would like to learn more, feel free to email me uh, through Pet Life Radio or else check out the St. Petersburg Paranormal Investigation site, which is sppipanelis.net and we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you so much for listening, and thanks for your patience. We're going to wrap this up and then keep going with our investigation. Have a good one. Pet Life Radio presents Paranormal Pets, where you can always expect the unexpected. Each week we'll discuss all aspects of weird or spiritual animal encounters, ghosts, totems, psychic animals, animal souls, animal angels, and animals in religion, with a little cryptozoology thrown in. Step into the supernatural world of pets every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.